Hey YouTube, I've got eight different uh, hatchet, axe, tomahawk type implements to show you today. I've got a pretty big backlog of blades to review and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to review them all in a reasonable amount of time and therefore occasionally I'm going to do basically survey videos like this where I go through a large number of blades quickly and I just uh, give you like a mini review of every single blade in one video and that's what we're going to do uh, in this video. Alright, first blade. This is the Trailblazer Mini Hatchet 440C stainless steel. It is 8 inches in overall length so it's an 8 inch mini hatchet. It comes in many different colors. I ordered the black and uh, they, they sent me the red so here's the red. I'll put a little grip on it. Now you might say why would you use uh, such a small hatchet? Well uh, you know, for things like ultralight backpacking, hiking, that's a pretty big movement right now, trying to get their weight down as low as possible. And also for just like short little like afternoon trips where, you know, you're not, you know that you're not going to have to cut down a tree or anything. All right. And uh, if you compare an 8 inch hatchet like this to an 8 inch knife, you will find the hatchet uh, just does chop way harder than a knife of the same length. So it's, you know, it's a specialized chopper. And uh, if you were trying to just keep keep the weight of your stuff down, oh uh, yeah, I mean, this, this would serve really well. It's, it's very light. All right, so that's basically it. The Trailblazer Mini Hatchet. And next we have a Klingon weapon. No, it's not a Klingon. This is actually from Uzi. Now you might say, why is it, why is it shaped like that? Uh, actually, this is a throwing, it's a throwing axe. It's just a fun little item. It's meant for uh, if you want to practice recreational throwing. And I'll probably do a, a little throwing video with this. I, I do a little bit of throwing myself. Full tang construction, right, G10 handle scales. Uh, but because of the full tang construction, it's not going to break. All right, even if you miss and it slams against a tree stump, whatever, uh, you know, it, it's not going to break. Also, the angular nature of it makes it uh, very good for actually sticking into uh, the target. And also the, uh, the fact that it's forward curved on the handle, that also lends itself uh, to good throwing. Next we have the K-Bar Zomstro uh, Chopper. Now this is an, an, interesting, uh, an interesting blade. When I first got this, when I ordered it, I was thinking, you know, it's basically a camping axe. That's what I was thinking. It's a funky shaped little hand axe, little camping axe. Uh, but I was wrong about that. And that's because of the blade geometry. When, I, when it arrived and I really looked at it closely, it comes to a much finer edge than any camping axe or hatchet would. A camping axe or hatchet has a very broad edge. Okay, that's so it won't stick in wood. That's so when you hit, when you hit a piece of wood, pieces of the wood will fly, will fly out and it won't stick. Okay, so the geometry is completely different uh, from those implements. So it's actually not, it's actually not a funky camping axe. All right, so what the heck is this? Uh, it's actually more similar to just a large knife. It has about a 10 inch blade length. The steel on this is 1095 Crovan, which is the same steel that the famous uh, USMC K-Bar is made from. And this is made in the USA. Price tag a little steep, over 100. I can tell you this handle is great because it's the same handle that's on their Famine Tanto which I've used extens extensively, and this handle shape is great uh, for chopping. But basically, like I said, this is more similar to a large knife, especially the, the edge. You see it's a full flat grind. It's more similar to actually like a cold steel Trailmaster or an Essie Hungless, actually. It's basically a large knife, but without a belly. 
and it does have a tip, but the tip here functions more like a sub tip on a Tanto. Like you could snap cut with that tip, but you're not going to be stabbing, all right? So it's like a large knife with no belly and no penetrative tip. So what would you use it for? I don't know, it's kind of an odd item, you know? I've had this for months and months and months, and I haven't reviewed it because I'm not really sure how what, what to do with it. Like, should I, like I said, it's, it's no camping axe, so should I chop wood with it anyway? I don't know. But there it is. This item is the Alpha brand cleaver. And this thing, okay, talk about a, talk about a zombie weapon. Uh, this, this was only $10 on Amazon. It's got a 10 inch edge length. I don't know if they have this on Amazon anymore, but I think, believe it or not, I think they sell this at Sears as well. Maybe you could find one on eBay, but it is Alpha brand. I believe that's a Russian brand that has their stuff made in China. Not quite sure. It's an obscure brand, but for $10, this is crazy. And this has been substantially modified. It originally came with a very, a short hollow grind, like right there. A very cheap and crappy hollow grind, I might add. Uh, but I gave this to a friend of mine who does regrinds, and I told him, just grind off like half the hollow grind and make it convexed. So now it has the most, <laughs> the most wicked convexed edge you can imagine on a meat cleaver. And I also uh, smoothed it out myself using my work sharp just recently. And now uh, this thing is insane, okay? If you want to talk anti-zombie cleaver, I mean, I love this thing, dude. For, for, for $10, I added a grip that is full tang. For $10, insane. Oh, here we have a Maxim brand, a Tomahawk. To me, this is, this is clearly based on the ATC Tomahawk, which goes for, I don't know, around 300 sometimes. This is more around like 30, 35. Now they have changed it. It has like different shape type handle scales. Okay, so they've changed it enough that it's not like an exact copy. All right, but clearly this is very similar. Uh, but this is 440C, whereas the ATC is N690CO. Okay, so you're getting a pretty big downgrade in steel, full tank construction, and you know, basically this is for people who, uh, I guess who can't afford the ATC. Now I have all three ATC Hawks, so I support them, but when I saw this, I just had to check it out. And it is a pretty nice design. I mean, aside from the, you know, it is somewhat disturbing how similar it is to a, another Hawk. Uh, but other than that, it is a pretty nice design. And it's more along the lines of a fighting design. Okay, based on uh, the Comanche Tomahawk. All right, so there you go. The, the Maxim, the Maxim Tomahawk. All right, and here we have the Cold Steel. Axe Gang Hatchet. Oop. <laughs> it almost hatcheted my table. How could I ever replace this? Now, um, this was actually sent to me, sent to me by one of my subscribers, and I really appreciate that, bro. Uh, you know, he contacted me. He said, hey, I ordered this Axe Gang Hatchet, but it was really, really dull, and I'm not happy with it. And he, he said he was going to return it, but then he said, you know what, it was only $25. Instead of returning it, I want to donate it to your channel, and if you feel like reviewing it, cool, and if not, just consider it a gift. Well, I really appreciate that, and I'm definitely going to show it if you took the time uh, to donate it to, to all of us so we could see it and check it out. All right, but he was correct. It was really dull. Uh, okay, but I have sharpened it. It's now, it, it's, it's actually now kind of scary sharp. I used the work sharp on it. Uh, but yeah, 
it does arrive extremely dull. It almost feels like there's a clear coat on it and it almost felt like the clear coat went right over the edge. Okay, but I ground that down and I used the work sharp to put an awesome edge on it. And I also wrapped it, this is gamma grip and then up here is just, just your regular electrical tape. But I think it looks much better, you know, like that. And it's gonna perform very well with uh, once you get the edge right. I might do a video on this where I just, uh, you know, just a chop test with it. All right, but for $25, it is good if you're willing to, uh, you know, to sharpen it yourself and fix it up. All right, now for some bigger stuff. This is the Council Tools Miner's Hatchet or Miner's Axe. The overall length of this is about 20 inches. Obviously, I've, I've, added a, I've added a grip and I've added a little bit of a pommel. This is a very interesting implement because the head on this axe is three and one half pounds, which is the weight of a full size, uh, like a three foot long axe. So you're getting the, uh, the axe head weight of a, of a full sized three foot long axe on an axe that's 20 inches. Now, why is it so compact? Well, because it was actually designed to be used like inside tunnels, okay, by miners where there's not a lot of room uh, to, to carry stuff and swing stuff. Okay, so this is the hardest hitting uh, chopper for, for its length, all right? And uh, this was only like $35. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Tons of use for such an item. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really happy with it. I mean, for that price, I mean, it, it's worth double. And it is, it is hefty, man. I mean, uh, this is, it might be the length of a large tomahawk, but this will hit way harder than any tomahawk will hit. All right. So the council tools, miners, axe. This incredible sight is the Windless Steel Crafts Huntsman's Axe. Uh, made in India, as uh, most of Windless stuff is, a uh, carbon steel axe head, almost f around four pounds in weight. This thing, uh, th this is a, a spectacular piece. The edge length, nine inches, uh, which is a far greater edge length than any axe, any tomahawk. Uh, now, traditionally, a so-called battle axe is actually much smaller than this. Okay, they, uh, historically, they didn't really use, usually they did not use an axe that was this big and heavy. Okay, that's why they call it the huntsman's axe and not like, I don't know, the war axe or something. Uh, but still, uh, th this thing is incredible. It was $80. Now... I mean, I mean, to get something like this, to get something like this for that price, I was super impressed. Now, the thing is, this comes unsharpened, okay? It comes with a, where the edge would be, it's just flat. But I have sharpened this. Uh, I used my work sharp and... Uh, this is actually scary sharp now, especially, especially for an axe this big. This is, this is scary sharp, I don't know if you can see, but crazy. And it is very solidly constructed. Okay, it does, the axe head is not loose whatsoever. All right, and uh, I mean, just look at the thing. With all the blades I have, I've never had anything quite like this and uh, the price was really just very reasonable all right and something like this you know you would have been much more likely to chop wood with this than use it in battle just because it is so so huge and heavy uh, but having said that if you were chopping wood and someone did attack you <laughs> uh, this would you know this would delimb the proverbial zombie uh, with incredible 
brutality. I mean, just look at the thing. This is really impressive. I mean, definitely kudos to Windless Steelcrafts for making this magnificent piece. All right, YouTube. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, seeing a large number of different uh, cleavers, axes, hatchets, and tomahawks. Stay tuned for many more videos. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.